Okay, see you soon. Love you, too. Is that for me? Why, yes, it is. A handsome coffee for my handsome man. What do you want? Why do I have to want something to give you a compliment? You don't, but you do. You know you're not the only one who can do that. You heard me on the phone with my father, didn't you? Okay, you're the only one who can do that. But if you're going to ask me to come to breakfast, I don't think it's a great idea. But I want to tell him about us, and I thought we could do it together. I get that, Donna, but in case you forgot, the first time I met the man, I told him if he took your money, I'd shut down his deal. Harvey, that was a long time ago. And it was not so long ago that he accused me of putting you at risk over Mike. Okay, maybe it is best if I tell him myself. But you're the two most important men in my life, and if I tell him that I choose you, he's not going to hold a grudge. He's going to be happy for us. In other words, next time it's the three of us. <laughs> you bet your ass it is. And he's in town for a week, so put your big boy pants on and find us a restaurant, or my father won't be the only Paulson you have to worry about. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Actually, I am in the middle of something, so if you don't mind. I got it. You're busy. I just wanted to know how your breakfast went. It wasn't great, Harvey. He said if I'm happy, he's happy. But if the two of you can't figure out a way to share a meal together, then what the hell are we doing? Whoa, hold a second. What are we doing? Are you saying you want to end this? No, Harvey, I am saying that I want a relationship with someone who at some point will get along with my father. Donna, he said he was happy for you. It's not the biggest deal in the world if we don't get along. You mean like the way that you didn't get along with your mother for most of your life? That has nothing to do with this. Doesn't it? Have you even told your mother about us? Donna. Well, I will take that as a no. I didn't tell her because I didn't think to. And you didn't think to because your mother hasn't been a regular part of your life. But my father's been a regular part of mine, and I shouldn't have to give up something that's important to me just because I'm in a relationship with you. Donna, is, is there something else going on? Isn't my father enough, Harvey? He said that you wouldn't put me first. Well, putting me first would mean fixing your relationship with him, so... If you can't figure out a way to do that, then maybe he's right. Thanks for coming, James. You invited me to your home to make peace, Harvey. <laughs> I couldn't exactly refuse. Not just to make peace. I wanted to show what I hadn't shown you before. Respect. I'm not sure I understand where you're going with this. I like to think I'm a smart guy, but sometimes I don't see what's right in front of my face. I thought I was showing you I cared, but instead, maybe it seemed like I don't respect you. Donna told you that, didn't she? She did. And if you're anything like me, you might not have been aware that that's what was going on for you. Sounds like you two are a lot like me and her mother. James, you have an amazing marriage. You've raised a wonderful daughter, and you've had love in your life all this time. If that's not something to respect, then I don't know what is. And Donna once told me about when you and her mother were separated and what you did to get her back. That's the most romantic thing I've ever heard. I wouldn't have taken you for the romantic type. That's because I've never shown you I was. I'm sorry if I overreacted, Harvey. And maybe I am something like you because... I didn't see it for what it was either. And since you shared with me, I'll share with you. I'm up against it with this deal. And if it's not too late, I could really use your help. It's not too late, James. Thank you, Harvey.